Welcome Cancer. This is um, the monthly readings um, for the month of November. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Wow. Wow, there's a whole lot is going on, Cancer. Wow. Okay. <laughs> um mm, there is a whole lot that is going on, Cancer. So So, I see that some of you Cancers are dealing with an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra woman. This person keeps on coming up. A lot of you are dealing with air sign people. Wow, and it, it comes back. Someone else has this really strong reading with each and every one who was that i think it was the ophiosis or the um the sagittarian but there is some sort of a situation that is going on um with your mom um and it's as if there is no love that is showed to you um whatever the issue is there is some sort of a problem that is just transpired and you have to discuss this with your mom in this month okay cancers some sort of information is going to be coming in so be aware of this Happiness with a woman that is a Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra is not is is not going to yield um the wound. Let's say it like this. Um, a lot of you men are having issues with um the female in your life. A lot of you men. Okay, let's get in the reading. In the first week, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Some sort of issue with your mom from the past could be coming back. Second week, the Temperance. Third week, the Devil. And the last week, um, a cycle is over. So there is a significant role that is happening um, in this month, there is no question about this. There is some sort of a huge significant role. And it's all about movement uh, um, that is happening and transpiring. Some of you cancers could be thinking about to travel, to move. Uh, um, that is really coming up and transpiring. The first week, the Wheel of Fortune is a fire energy. And some sort of an issue about your mom is coming back. And the Knight of Swords and some money that was left for some of you if your parents has died or you had borrowed some money from your mom and that is coming up, okay? So the Wheel of Fortune could be either the money is going to be returned to you, okay? So let's say that your mom had died and left you some money um, someone had took it, uh, or a lady that was supposed to be watching over the money had taken it. I see that this money is going to be returned. They're going to be investigating this money, and this money is going to be returned. So it's as if a family member took some money from you, and um, this money is definitely going to be returned. I see your wishes and dreams is in reverse. I see some of you were hoping for help to come in. I see a whole lot of people are also looking at you 
to help them. So in however way this is, a whole lot of people are looking at you for help. And a whole lot of you are standing and is uh, opening up and is uh, uh, asking basically for help. So I see that is really coming up and transpiring. So some of you is as if the Wheel of Fortune comes um, bringing something in. But it's not what you want. So I see you cancers are like, yeah, but that, that is not what I want. Because now I have to help other people. However, that is coming out. Um, temperance. I see some sort of information is coming in that a relationship, a marriage could be over. Or some sort of a new love. Um, it is as if some sort of a new love is going to be in reverse. However, this is coming up and transpiring. So, you cancers are dealing with some issues where some sort of a new love that, you know, you were open for is not going to happen. I see um, some of you are trying to balance out a situation. I see... A Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person is under investigation and it's because of you cancers. Um, you cancers have done something against this person and I see this person is under investigation. Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. And I see they're going to be finding out that uh, um, this person has it done anything? You created a whole lot of issues for this person. You have created a whole lot of issues for this person. And you have done this person some real injustice. And I see that they're going to be finding this out. And the third week, uh, there is a problem where it's as if people are trying to block your happiness and joy. And you're holding on to your money. It doesn't really matter if uh, your wishes and dream is not coming in, but you're holding on to your money. And I think that that is the best thing to do. So you could be dealing with um, someone and uh, you had hope for something else to happen. As if, uh, all right, so this person and I, we're going to be always together and... We're going to be very good friends and that sort of a thing. But that is not happening. But I see you're holding on to your money. Okay. I see some sort of an investigation is going on. And with you cancer, where do you get so much money from? Um, And however this is coming up, it is as if uh, you cancer um, are really, really on the... Um, a powerful spell from an Aquarian, Gemini, or, or Libran. In the sense that if you notice these two energies uh, with the energy of the devil, but I see it's going to be over. So it was as if some of you cancers was under some spell from an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra, but it's going to be over as you get to the end of the month. Um, whatever the situation is, I see that... Uh, an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person is going to be trying to help out some of you to release you from under this negative energy that you're under. Okay, so an Aquarian might be coming in to help you um, because this Aquarian realized that someone has not been um, honest and this Aquarian is going to be helping some of you cancers out of some sort of a situation. So I see, um, you can see some information is coming in and whatever is happening, I see a cycle is going to be ending for an Aquarian person. Whoever this Aquarian person is and whatever this Aquarian person was doing, a cycle is definitely going to be ending for this person. This person has overgone their boundaries in some sort of a situation and that is the reason why. Then I see um, a cycle is going to be over for a, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, man or woman, between the ages of 18 and 45. Um, 
For some of you, it's a Capricorn. For some of you, it's a Taurus. Okay? So, some sort of a cycle is going to be over for a young person between the ages of 18 and 45. Because there is a huge investigation that is coming down on this person. And... Uh, um also a Taurus. So whatever that was happening, if you notice, you're connected with these people and somehow you Kansas have created some sort of an issue for other people with this, this person. This it can come up as a Taurus or a Virgo or a Capricorn. And I see, if you notice, all of the energy is that uh, um, this person, there is an end that is coming up for this person. Their wishes and dreams is ending because... Um, they have found out what this person have done. So the lady of the light, surprise, sometimes shocking, total paragon shift. Because this person thought that they did something and they were going to get out, get away with it. And it's as if a total paragon shift where they found out that this person was not being aligned with the truth of who and what was happening. So a total paragon shift is going to be coming in. And it's going to be creating some sort of a change. So I see a whole lot of you hold on to your money. Some sort of information is coming in. Um, um, and you're going to be finding out that some sort of a change. A lot of you want to relocate. A lot of you um, want to change resident. Um, and that is going to be coming up in the two first week. The Wheel of Fortune is going to... Um, is bringing some of you something, but that's not what you want because the nine of cups is your wishes and dreams. That's not what you want. And I see some sort of a help was coming in for you, but that's not what you want. Balance is here and you're dealing with an Aquarian, Gemini and Libran. Um, this could be a lawyer that is a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. And I see they're investigating two lawyers, um, a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. Um, one is a Taurus, one is a Capricorn. And there, uh, these lawyers are on the investigation for some serious, serious uh, um, um, situation that they have uh, done. And they're on the investigation. The energy of the devil, they're finding out that someone in a, a organization have done some wrongs. And they're seeing um, that someone had access a, an, an account when, without the two persons. So how did they do it? And they're investigating this because they're realizing that is neither one or the other person had access the account. So who accessed the account? So this is this is good. A cycle is going to be over because a whole lot of uh, legal um, issues is going on and a whole lot of you are dealing with issues that has to do with Aquarian, Gemini or Libran or issues with legalities. Some of you had hoped to hold on on some money that was not yours and this money is being taken back. A lot of you are going to be relocating or thinking about relocating. Some of you are going to be receiving help um, from a lawyer to resolve some sort of a issue or a situation. I don't know. And trust this person. Um, um, a Taurus lawyer is going to be investigating another woman lawyer about something that she has done. So I see that the Taurus lawyer, um, I've realized that someone else was accessing and, uh, um, using someone else's document. It was another lawyer who had access, um, the information before. And I see that these people are just in a whole lot of contention that is going on around them. I see the end is coming up for an Aquarian. There's no question. An Aquarian woman, 45 years and older, and a um, male and female between the ages of 18 and 45. I see some sort of a relocation. Some of you are going to be finding out that they're relocating or they're going to be helping you to relocate. I see a whole lot of you hold on to some money. And if you notice, the Wheel of Fortune is pointing to someone between the age of 18 and 45. And um, here, 
um, a cycle is over um, with uh, however you were getting your money. If you were connecting with a Capricorn person to receive money, I see this person is not offering you any love. This person um, basically isn't offering you any love anymore. And I see that uh, um, this person, some of you, this person had never um, see you as someone they would have gone forward with in a relationship. And it's as if some of you are realizing the love between you and this person is not there anymore. Um, and you men realize that you messed up, messed up big time. And, um, mm, It's a sad situation. <clears throat> yeah. So what is transpiring is that I see um, some of you are going to be communicating and trying to resolve some sort of an issue. Um, whatever negative forces that is coming at you, you're going to be taking them down as they enter. You're going to be taking them down. It's as if your angels and your guides are protecting you. Um, the people who have worked against um, and stole um, or work against some sort of an issue and was holding on on money that uh, wasn't yours, that was coming, it's as if some of you reconnect with a family or connect with um a capricorn in order to accumulate wealth i see some of you are saving um and you're going to be receiving help so that you can relocate and you will have the money So life is, 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 is as if everyone, everyone is having this issue. So I see information is going to be coming in and you're going to be balancing out the um whatever is going on. You're dealing with a Libran and uh, I see that this Libran could be helping um, or an end is coming in for this Libran or it's some sort of information that some of you... Um, it's going to be after relocate or um it could be an a marker um someone who's helping you to find a house that sort of a thing and i see you're really holding on to your money the wheel of fortune is coming in bringing back some um past um issue um that outside influence had created it for a lot of you but i see uh, um, help is going to be coming in and I see you're going to stand your ground because help is going to be coming in. Um, it's not what you had hoped for, but I see some sort of resolution. Some of you, your wishes and dream has died. Um, some sort of a problem um, came up where some of you got involved with some sort of an illegal situ situation. And now... An end is coming to this and I see some of you are going to be holding on to your money and move forward. It is really distressing what is happening and transpiring. Um, and your foundation, when we look at your foundation, it's about a lot of you cancer holding on, on your money because a lot of you cancer wants to relocate. Whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, a lot of you want to relocate so i see you're holding on to your money and um you're trying to look for another place and i see um you're going to be receiving some sort of a help coming in in order to um help you out to find another resident okay so um that is basically coming up that is definitely coming up so um be aware of that but NJ of an ace of cups um, with a mother figure or a, a mother um, is in the reverse. And however this is, um, 
what you're seeing is that some of you are going to be dealing with some sort of issues, emotional issues as a mother or with your mother. So some sort of emotional issues as a mother or with a mother is going to be transpiring in this month. And um, I see a whole lot of um, unhappiness for some of you, but it's an it's a sort of re resolution where you have to learn to um, create your own happiness and don't expect happiness from someone else. And I see that a lot of you um, were expecting happiness to, from, from someone else and you have to realize um, this is a sense that you have to create your own happiness. Okay, um, people can't make you happy. You have to make yourself happy. So some of you cancers are dealing, um, you regret a situation because I see um, you were in a relationship with an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra um, and something from the past as a rare car and I see an end is coming to this. So whatever is happening and transpiring, a whole lot of ends is coming in and um some of you cancers, you hope that this person could have given you your happiness and joy, but you have done some things, and I think the universe um have repay you your own karma. For the rest of you, I see a whole of you are going to be relocating, and you're going to be having the money to do that, okay? So we see 10 movements, so new start, so definitely a lot of you are going to be having the money to relocate. Um, 28, um, that is 10, uh, 42, that is six control assistant control. Um, the horse king is here. The lady of the lightning surprise, um, something shocking. Total paragonship is going to be happening. Total paragonship. And it's as if some of you, um, was happy and was in a happy marriage relationship and then all of a sudden room a paragon shift and it has to do with something that you have done in the past that is going to be coming back to affect you cancers in the future and especially in this month the horse king is here some sort of an assistant and um will come in um but for you men um there is some significant situation that is transpiring okay um, the energy of paragon shift is like unexpected, out of nothing. It's just like a hurricane, a storm that comes in your life. So we have one, zero, six, eight, twenty eight, thirty five, forty two. So one, zero, six, eight, twenty eight, thirty five, forty two. Those are your numbers. Um, call upon our skin. Um, this is a situation that is going to be affecting, um, in your life, especially if you're in a relationship with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. That is something that is going to be transpiring in your life. I gotta go. I'm wishing you a wonderful month. Please remember to become a member is using the blue join button. And as you join, you will access um and can pick up the um extended reading so um use the button to join namaste mm -hmm.